What's going on, America? It's your boy, Cavi Kingpin, Just For The Hell Of It Podcast. We are in this building. What, what is it, Tuesday? Man, the week is going slow as shit. So I'm going to let the homies uh, introduce themselves, even though y'all know them. Let's go, y'all. That was Justifier calling from cold-ass Buffalo, New York. And we going to get our usual snow, but shout-out to Huntsville, Alabama, and the fact that y'all are trying to get, to get a taste of what y'all making fun about our ass for. Have fun. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Yo, your boy, what's up, really, man, here, man? Tuesday night, kind of chilly. The man has a lot of shit that's going on, though. Nick Cannon! What the fuck, bro? <laughs> uh, also, Rest in Peace Juice World, man. Rest in Peace Juice World. Yeah. RP Juice World, man. Definitely RP. Young kids, boss, and son. Yo, this yeah. is our fat. This is the fat bastard here, man. Coming in in Atlanta, man, a.k.a. the little engine that could, a.k.a. the five-foot assassin, <laughs> a.k.a. I can go, I can do all things through Christ. What else? Yo, I'm okay. It day to day. <laughs> That's my new Yo. t-shirt. That's my new slogan, y'all. I can do all things through Christ. Yo, the hold on. The that could, baby. Right but, um, quick. Right <laughs> quick. That could, that could do all through Christ. Yeah, it's Christ. Right it's quick. A, 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 Yo. Y'all gotta go see that. Go see that movie, Queen and Slim. That shit serious. That shit I know, serious. I know. I know Slim said he could. Yo, said first of all, fuck I, I that. Fuck that nigga with the gold teeth. Fuck that nigga. At the end. Fuck that nigga at the end with the gold teeth. I told you, bro. Can't even. Your coon teeth, ass no. nigga. Right, you right, fucking right, coon. Right, right. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Fucking yeah. coon. Yeah, y'all gotta be. Y'all gotta relax. Y'all, y'all doing, y'all, you just got to relax. <laughs> All right, so listen. Let me get on my fight stick. I had a bad copy, y'all. I had a bad copy. So I, I, you got to set the game up. <laughs> Let's get into it. Uh, the topic today, uh, I definitely, we want to touch on, uh, and we got to be very sensitive and delicate. We're touching on D. Wade's son. And, you um, work that better, dude. Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah, no, pause. Yo, you work. Go ahead. Listen, slow. Let's do it over. Let's do it over. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Sorry. We are. T- it's an issue in the media dealing with D Wade's son. So I just want to get people's opinion on it. How, and at the end of the day, we have a lot of respect for the um, for, uh, D Wade family and everything. And we're not saying nothing derogatory about his son. We just saying how the media is portraying things and how things is going on. I just want your personal opinion on that. And we're gonna talk about the Eminem and the Nick Cannon battle. <laughs> that should sound weird even saying that. So yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, very weird. I, Let, I, let's start with Justify and keep it. We this we this gonna be on YouTube, bro, so be easy. No, 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 man. Hey, I understand and my thing is this. And from past episodes you know that I support the L B G T community and you know Hold on, he called <laughs> off the rip. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Jesus, off the rip. Hey, no, I support them, you know, for, by having them be able to do what they want to do and, you know, not have to be ridiculed. You know, that's why I mean. I support them. Be happy, be free with you. On. As far as with uh, D Wade's son, you know, in fact, you know, they, they tried to start messing with him when he went to the Pride Parade with his son, you know, what was it last year or the year before, you know, whatever. Now, it's 2019, almost 2020. His, his son is is gay, and that is his, allegedly, his allegedly, allegedly. Uh, okay, if his son is gay, let's stop. There ain't no allegedly. So, <laughs> how, 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 however it may go, if that is the lifestyle that he is choosing, and you know he has the support of his family. Then, but anybody else says don't mean shit because the boy, you know, the, what, the hardest thing that I've heard from people is that when they are gay and they try to come out and say that they're gay, is that the first people that turn their back on them is their family. Now, if the boy is gay, then and his family is okay with it, his family is doing everything. Then the hardest part is done. Whatever these idiots out in the street are saying and everything, or how they going, fuck that. Because you got people, and y'all know this for a fact, in the South, you got people who sit there and they can't say that they're gay. Oh, it's a phase. Or, you know, it'd be like the most religious folk. It's a phase, you know, God will 
lead him the right way. God is leading him the right way. God is leading him to be true to himself. So if that's mm-hmm. true, be, yeah, I agree. I, I don't agree. That's true. That's true. Hey. Hold on, right <laughs> quick. Right quick, right quick, not to cut you off. It was a picture that surfaced, and he had some Lee press on nails. I mean, <laughs> I don't like that on women. So, you know, he had some. Wait, wait. Listen, this young. young nails is better than my wife's nails, man. That's not a good look. Man. Listen, he had the so white no tips. <laughs> this young chap. Listen, this young chap oh had some Lee press on nails, up, bro. This young chap had Lee press on nails in a pit with his hands up. He had his hands up, like, look, and D Wade well, just chilling. I don't even know but, what to but, say about but, that, bro. But, but that's the lifestyle that he wants. Be. That's his life choosing. He has the support of his family. You know, let, you Can know, you explain the Lee press on nails, though? Dude, I just said, I don't like Lee press on nails. I don't like Lee press on nails. Uh, with him. <laughs> I don't like Lee press on nails. That's fucked up, man. Yes. You know, yes, now, now, bitch. Yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. Yes. I might not, yes, I might not agree. Yes, I might not agree with the Lee press on nails because, like I said, I don't like them on women by itself. But come on now. We've seen, we've seen more outrageous Them shits on a little boy, bro. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but okay. That nigga ain't, man. Come on, man. He's like 13. He's eight, man. I, think, I think that nigga 12. He's like 12. That little nigga wildin'. That little nigga wild. My father would have beat the fuck out of me. My father would have put his hands on me, feet and hands on me for some shit like that. But the thing is, once again, I mean, from me. Yo, he's only eight, man. How you gonna say that's legit? He's eight, man. I, I don't know if that's what he wants. That's what he wants, right? It's raining, and, man. You know, that's, that's Hallelujah, okay it's that's raining, matters, man. Right? Hey, hey. And you know what's crazy about this? You know what's crazy about all this with the, with the sun and everybody getting up and down? It's raining, pictures? man. Hallelujah. It's raining. You know what's crazy about it, though? And Slum, you, and Slum I know you can attest to this with me. Slum quiet as hell. Go ahead, Justin. My bad. I said, the, the fingernails ain't nothing. We see DJ Johnson out there doing what he, doing what he wants to be free. EJ Johnson looks like Tracy Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> All right? And the whole thing is, he out there, he's doing what he want to do. He's on the road. He's, you know, at fashion shows and everything. Got the big hoop earrings and the makeup and everything. Living living his best life. His he's a grown-ass man, bro. He's a grown-ass man. Thank you. No, but the whole thing is, he wasn't always. He's been doing this for years. He wasn't a, he wasn't a full-on adult when he started doing it. So the whole thing is, if the family's all right with it, it's cool. I mean, I get more pissed off. I mean, you know, people talk about the lead press on nails. I'm more pissed off when there's somebody who puts the weeds and extensions in the baby girl's hair at like two years old. That's yeah. bullshit. Justify. Can I say you know? something? Can I say something? Yeah. Please. Cover yeah. girl. Work it, girl. Work it. <laughs> <laughs> and he was worried about me saying something. Now, you know, I'm the way. <laughs> You know you gonna say something, man. Yo, Slum, wait, right quick, Slum, Slum Dog. You, so, what's yo. your, what's your opinion on this shit? Keep, keep it a buck, man. Uh, look, man, I, my only issue is the fact that this nigga twelve years old. You know what I'm saying? He's still a kid. Right. Not my only issue. Right. Like, right. Like, if that's what they want to do with their son, if he's happy doing that, they're okay with it by all means, too, man. Because it doesn't matter what the internet is. Right. He can talk shit all we want to. At the end of the day, they still got money. They don't care. But they you, living their best life right now, right? Slum, you know what, though? Slum, you know what, though? What's up? I'm coming out. I well, want the world to know. He running out of song. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, look. Jeez. He's going to sing it. George Michael. Let him finish. Let him kid do whatever he wants to, man. No, no. I, can, I, I, my opinion, I disagree. I'm sure. I think he Thank still needs time to find himself. He's still a child. Okay, why they, how they raise him, that's their business. And like you said, they're wealthy, they rich, they good. I just think we, we live in a day and time where we exposing children to too much too early. That's, too, that's a lot to put on a 12-year-old boy. I'm just, that's just my opinion. That's a lot to put on him because do we really, do we really, do we really know sexuality? When you go to school, nigga gonna scrape you off. 
Imagine he go to school with them damn <laughs> press on those. They gonna scrape him. Huh? But that's why I said. I mean, things are like they go to private school, man. He ain't worried about nothing in public school. He ain't going there. And things are different now from like when we were younger and people like if you knew somebody was getting they you know got dragged and everything like that you know got made fun of everything things are things have changed so much yeah I, you know I, I think I, I, there's, more, there's more protection. I, There's more protection now. Yeah, but I think they out of pocket for letting, not letting, but exposing him to that world. He's out of pocket. Okay, if he's like that, you can't change how someone acts. But fire is taking him to the pride parade, and you out of you out of pocket. You, but the whole thing was that was what he asked and everything. Man, like they, if, your like, son, if your son, if your son asked you, I mean, if your son was his age and asked for you to go to the gun shop, you gonna take him? Wait, I didn't hear you. What you say? If your son was 12 years old and he asked for you to go to the gun shop, you still going to take him? I took him. What do you mean? Like, At 12 years old, you're going to take your son to the gun shop to buy a pistol for him. My son, my son is going to buy a pistol. I'm just saying, just because it, a kid asks for something don't mean you do it, though. I personally believe that, you know, our, you know, our children... Our young black dude, we should be teaching them about weapons and shit ourselves so this way they don't learn something wrong. No, 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 no. Let me ask you. Keep it a buck. And this this is a respectful question. If your son was 12 years old, he wanted to go to Pride Parade, you would have took him? Yeah. My son, you know what's funny? My son, my son has been to a Pride Parade with my, um, dad's No, no, I'm not, no, no, I'm saying if he... That's all he does when he went to the dad's Pride Parade with my dad's No, no, I'm saying he, I'm sure he didn't ask to go, though. No, well, Dad, if he wanted to go, he was like, sure, he ain't never been in there. He probably didn't even know there. what the hell, what it is. He was like, he, my son was like, what the fuck? Exactly, he didn't know what it was. So if your son, yo, okay, T, if your son asked to go to Pride Parade, you gonna take him? No, no, no. <laughs> Slum, not. Slum Dog, your unborn not, child asked to go to Pride, Pride hey, Parade, you gonna take him? I'm not, no, I'm not, I can't not promote, promote, I don't promote. Okay. Hey. Go ahead. I don't promote. I'm, I'm one of those. I don't promote the LGBT community. Jesus Christ. I don't promote it. You do what you do, but I don't promote it. Okay. Shout out to the LGBT community. All right. Shout out. That's not me. That's just the only one. But I don't Everybody promote it. <laughs> you sound like a white supremacist. <laughs> you sound like a white hey, supremacist. You ain't lying. Hey, it's better. Look. Leviticus 22, right? Oh, you shit. must not have sex relations with a man. As you would a woman, that is abomination. So basically, you know no, think, no bananas and tailpipes. I'm just, that's what it says. I'm a man of God, man. I don't I agree think, with it. Not, hey, not, to cut, not to cut anybody off, and I agree. You know, I respect what you're saying. Um, I respect everything you're saying. Uh, but the whole Leviticus chapter of the Bible seemed like it was kind of written by some dude that got, you know, some dude that just was kicked off by a lot of things. Because it also says in there, a man should not lay in bed with a woman while she's bleeding. Huh? Jeez. Yeah. Well, that's something totally. Like, there's a lot of things in Leviticus that should start right far, you know, as far as hell out there. The one thing I will agree with is a man should not fuck animals. That's in it too. Like Leviticus comes to homosexuality, bestiality, and for some reason, what in a Jeffrey Dahmer like, shit is that? Yeah, that's disgusting, man. Right. It's getting a little weird. Listen. A lot of crazy stuff up in it, though, man. It's getting a little weird. It's getting a little weird. Listen. Hey, let's pull Let's pull it back. Let's pull it back. It's getting a little weird. Let's go on to the Eminem and uh, Nick Cannon beef. Who want to talk yeah. about that spectacle? You want me to lead it? Yeah, you can lead it, uh, uh, okay, Mr. So Drumline. Nick Cannon, I guess, you know... Decided to try to be a big boy. This motherfucker <laughs> released a couple tracks. This and Eminem, and he got two other he got two other motherfuckers nobody ever heard of with him. And they dogging him, trying to say that he was in a trailer park. Brought up his the, his children, and they can't kind of call themselves the new next Tupac. Now the last nigga that tried to do to bring up Eminem's children and call, was calling himself and acting like he was the next Tupac was Ja Rule. Now, anybody remember how that piece ended out? Nobody ever heard. Nobody ever heard from that motherfucker until he fucked up with that thing. So, with, with the boat like, ride, then he have like a boat ride or something. He fucked up. Huh? He did a boat ride and it, it ain't go through, and he had to return yeah, people money or somewhere. Everything, but the funny thing is this: Eminem went to trip, went to Twitter after it was released, 
Last the Cracker Joe cut. Come on, Nicholas. You know, call, it called him Nicholas. Man. And, you know, Cracker Joe. And the whole thing is now we play the waiting game. Because, you know, Eminem will go in there. He's going to drag that motherfucker up and down the street. Honestly, you don't even need to respond, though, man. That this that was so fucking trash. That shit was so bad, yo. Oh, so Nick Cannon got a song? Nick Cannon got a song? Based on how his response started. Because it started off with some unknown nigga on an answering machine talking about fucking them. Nick Cannon's family. He got the authority to go after you and all this stuff. Everybody knows Nick Cannon can't rap. Yo, Everybody knows. Yo, Slum, Nick Cannon, Cannon got a song? Gigolo, Cinemolo, all that shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. He got, no, man. Uh, yo, he got a song? The video opens up with him in the hood. Is it and a, it looks like somebody that looks like Drake's dad. Is it a song out? Yo, yeah, man. I didn't see a dog. I didn't see a dog. You would have seen the video? I said, watch this thing, man. This dude's a clown. What's the name but, of the song? Uh, no, nah, man. The whole bitch was ass. Em don't even need to respond. He don't need to respond. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Done. Is a video and a song out? Yo, he, he even released a video, a music video for this shit. This and like, Eminem. This dude, he, he's trying to get credibility, and he ain't, it ain't helping him. You know who I want to see battle, man? I want to see Chink. I want to see two battles they should put on the URL with Smack. They should put Magoo oh. from Timberland and Chingy. Oh, shit. Yeah, where Magoo and uh, Chingy. Who do you think will win? What? Remember Magoo from t- uh, Magoo that sound like Q-Tip and Chingy. Chingaling. Timberland and Magoo? Yeah, who you think will win? Uh, Magoo or Chingy? I thought Chingy was doing Postmates down here. <laughs> yeah, he I got caught with the uh, tranny. He got caught with the tranny, too. He was yeah. with Sydney Stars. <laughs> Sydney Styles. I, I, huh? I think Magoo. Because like, like when Magoo would rap, I like how his delivery was and everything, and he had that speed with it too. Both of them niggas was ass, bro. <laughs> the first one's not even really a rapper. He had that. Well, he had a couple songs. No, Magoo. Yeah, no, I'm talking about Magoo and Chinga, Chingy. When Chingy had that right there, and then uh, Magoo was. And then just, the Holiday Inn Jones. Yeah, the Holiday Inn. Yeah. Yeah, them shits was horrible. But he had help. Yeah, well, uh, Ludacris on, killed man, that shit. Happen, yeah, what did help? So, like, it, I, I, think, help. Uh-huh. I, I think Eminem is finding this hilarious because Nick Cannon versus Eminem, again, that is sick. That's stupid. Oh, you know yeah. Eminem will slice this nigga up. Nick Cannon is a great actor, great businessman, but I think on a lyrical tip, is no way. It's no way. And shit, the funny thing is, this just came out of the blue because Eminem hasn't said anything about Nick Cannon recently. Nick Cannon started it. Yeah, Nick Cannon started this, and you want to talk about how everything is? If you if you forgotten everything that you had to go through with that crazy ass ex wife of yours, and you really want to want to start this thing? Really? I'm like, dude, your career will be ended quick. He did. He and he's gonna say, well, and why don't you come on wilding out? You don't want that. That's what he said to Eminem? No, no, he definitely don't want that. That's what he said man, to Eminem? I think Nick Cannon is doing a mad singer, man. He, he already washed up. I think he, he, he looking for some type of clout. I really think it's that. It'd be funny if Eminem was one of those characters that beat the hell out of him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He wants the street cred, man. He ain't gonna never get that. He's been the underclassman. This motherfucker can't just roll up somewhere in a low, in a low rider thing. He can try to just earn everything. If anybody wants to know how much of a clown Nick Cannon is, look at the video. Look at this, this video, and you be the judge. I was listening to them damn uh, stuff. I, I'm sitting there, and I was over at my kid's mother's house, and she was like, what the hell's going on with this? And she started playing it. I said, turn that shit off. <laughs> I'm like, turn that fucking bullshit off, because he don't, like, this motherfucker is completely out of character. This is almost like a Will Smith was to try to have a diss record as somebody else. And what they did was the one the one song they did, this is how blasphemous this shit was. They took Renegade. Yeah. You used to be from Renegade. They all was this track against them. Dude, you don't know what the fuck you doing, first off. You had to get help. But like, okay, Tupac when he didn't hit him up, he had the outlaws, but the Outlaws was already out there. Everybody knew who the Outlaws was. But Tupac was, was always the greatest, so it ain't matter. Tupac outshined everybody. Right. And the thing was, Tupac was able to, you know, Tupac was built to do that. 
you know, when LL Cool J and Cannabis went back and forth. When cop went, the one thing that was funny is was when Ice Cube and Common went back and forth. Nobody thought Common had it in him, and Common came back and they had respect for him for what he did. But Nick Cannon is like a kindergartner going up against a fucking 12th grader, all right? This shit ain't working. Mm. All right? This motherfucker Yo, Fat Bastard, what you think? At the end of the day. Fat Bastard, what you think? I don't... Eminem, when, when the last time Eminem dropped the album? Though? When the last time Eminem? <laughs> I ain't here. It, it, it was last year. Man. He dropped the album last year. That Kamikaze CD was the last one. Yeah, he dropped that show last year. Yeah, I got all his stuff. Okay, I, I, I don't think it did nothing, though, but... No, it did. It was good. It, did, it was good. I didn't, I'm sorry, I haven't heard... I, you know, I'm like it. I thought Tom Cruise was out. But he's kind of been, you know, calming down more. I mean, shit. He's yeah, yeah. Like, and Nick Cannon's on fire right now, man. Actually, <laughs> he's doing his thing right now. Huh? Shout out to Nick Cannon. He's doing his thing out here, man. He, 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 uh, he, he, he had to redeem himself. He is, man. He had to why redeem he, himself. He had that tap dancing. But he got like, hey. Yeah, rich, pretty much he is. That's all the fuck he was doing. <laughs> hey, he had to redeem himself from last time, man. Well, I mean, he might. You know, he think he's trying to get. He's trying to get Mariah back. That's why he's doing this shit. Small move, small move, man. I just ain't worried about him. I know. He don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> That shit, this shit, that shit sound horrible. Like <laughs> Yo, Eminem versus Eminem. That's that's Eminem versus Nick Cannon. That don't yeah, even sound that, politically that's correct. That's career suicide right there. Exactly. Absolutely. Yo, hey, cannabis, the, the cannabis, and the, the cannabis L Cool J one was good for cannabis just to be starting out, and then with Chapman and he went after L Cool J, that was good. LL was a my LL came up bad on so. LL came up battling, dog. You know, right, you know what right. it reminds me of? This, on the low, Cannabis killed, killed him. No, Cannabis no, did. LL won. Jack the Ripper killed that nigga, bro. Come on. No, no. Jack that the Ripper wasn't on. That wasn't, that wasn't on. No, man. Jack the Ripper was not on that. No. No, Jack the Ripper was the official disc. They was, listen. No, that was, a, he, he brought it back. The first Jack the Ripper was against Kumo D, but he. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. The second one he killed uh, cannabis when he said ninety nine half. He said ninety nine percent of your fans don't even exist. Right. Yeah, that's the can I buzz. Yeah, can I buzz? That's Jack the Ripper. Yo, but cannabis, cannabis did win, but that brought nah, yo, they, back they, in, yo, no, but that brought LL Cool J back into music. So. No, LL, LL, LL listen, won listen, over, LL won overall. Cannabis, but, cannabis. LL didn't even know Cannabis was battling him on a track, and that's when he went back to it. Because Cannabis came at him on a joint. He said, I, I snatch your uh, arm with your mic. Snatch the mic with your arm still attached to it. It wasn't dope, but on that 54321, yeah. that wasn't a deep, 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 That wasn't initially a diss. That was him saying homage. He was and, saying homage. And LL told him to take that part out, and I'll take my verse out. And he said, okay. So he took that part out. But LL still went after him and left his part in there, and that's what triggered the whole piece. Yo, LL killed that, killed that shit. He but killed that shit. He killed that. But by cannabis, by cannabis, um, doing second round knockout, and LL was mm -hmm. back. That brought LL back into music, and right. you know, made brought back him being popular. Right. And after that, then he went back and he did another album, and everybody, you know, he was back up where he was before because he kind of fell off a little bit. Well, he didn't fall off. He fell back to do more movies and shit. And, you know, he had In the House and all that other shit, so he wasn't really into it as much as he was, you know, into, like, doing movies and TV shows. So that resurrected his music. Right, that makes sense. It did, it did, it did. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, this is about as bad as R. Kelly versus Cisco. Whoa. Yeah. He had, yeah, remember, remember she had R. pumps Kelly in the bunch. Cisco <laughs> and Cisco ain't never say shit back. First of all, first of all, you got a, 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 a <laughs> you got a legit, you got a legit pedophile fighting, fighting a, a platinum hair nigga jumping around a whole bunch of bitches with thongs on on the beach. Was doing a one-handed cartwheel. Doing a one, yeah, one-handed cart, a windmill. <laughs> Nigga was doing a windmill. <laughs> See, I think hey, our, the whole time, Ari Kelly. Did you get that Cisco album, Cassie? <laughs> Let's be honest, keep it a fuck. Did you get that Cisco album? I, I got it when it came out. It oh, yeah. That, yo, no, no. Uh, uh, Thong song was hot. I ain't going to front. See, the point is, I think R. Kelly seen him as an uh, adolescent and decided to pick on him like, oh, that's a little boy with platinum yeah, hair. That best of all, 
And he was like, yo, that's a little chick with his name while. So he thought, you know, <laughs> He, he but you know what, Drew? Yo, Drew Hill was the shit, though. I ain't gonna front. Drew Hill was the shit. Yeah, he was. Kelly thought he was a little kid, a little girl, with his name <laughs> out, and he's trying to, you know, he's trying to get at him. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. 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 Yeah, you know, all of it was this track against Cisco. Like, it was like three songs against this track against Cisco by, um, by R. Kelly. And Cisco ain't say nothing. And Cisco's laughing his ass. Yeah, he kills. That nigga. And he's still, he still locked up, right? Shut up to, shut up to R. Kelly, man. Yo, he Slum hate that nigga. No, no, no. We're all Kelly. There's no shout out to him. They, they just <laughs> had another charge against him. Street right. R. Kelly. All right, y'all. Let's do, no. let's do the fuck. Bitches had another charge against R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, shit. Charges dropped. Not guilty. <laughs> fuck R. Kelly, man. Yeah, no, but they, they charged him with bribery. <laughs> he bribed an official to be able to marry Aaliyah. That's what he said they said. So I'm waiting to see if they're going to charge his mother, too. Allegedly, he had an adolescent eat a donut off his pipe. So it, fuck that nigga. He's done. So. And yo, yo, this shit, hey man, this is like 2020. Huh? Make the America great. All what, what, come home. what you say, Slum? This show gonna be demonetized, boy. Hey, yo. Oh, this, <laughs> this episode. Like, what the fuck is going on? You said this episode. <laughs> Oh my god, man, that's a lot of shit. <laughs> Yo, send this one to Apple Music. <laughs> no, come on, let's go to final thought, y'all. Uh, go ahead, just <laughs> final thought for the evening. Oh, and by the way, uh, that Nick Cannon uh, move that he did is not a justification for the Super Bowl moment. Okay. But final thought for the uh, evening, um, starting with uh, Dwayne Wade, um, son first. Um, yeah, I mean, you gotta look at it. Yeah, it might be too young in some people's eyes, but you gotta look at it. Things have changed a lot, and it's a different world we're living in. But if his family is accepting of that, because right now, the D Wade family turned in that power family. You got the one son getting them ESPN games with LeBron, so they're getting all that. You got his son, you know, being part of that. And that's what it is to let it be, just, you know, be respectful of yourself as anybody wants people to be respectful of their family. Nick Cannon, you a fucking idiot. Oh. All right? You can't sit there and act like Will Smith one minute and then you want to sit there and act like you 50 the next. All right? Stay in one place, figure out something, but shut the fuck up because don't cry when Eminem comes for your ass. Thanks. Slum dog. Uh, I'm Uh, you know, the whole D-Way situation, man, if his family supports, you know, if the son being, you know, being gay, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, myself, if I had a son, 12 years old, one to go to I wouldn't do it. That's just me. But he's their own, you know. Uh, his son will probably team up with fucking uh, Magic Johnson's son. They'll probably do fashion or some bullshit. <laughs> you know? uh, and then to, uh, to Nick Cannon and Eminem, man. When we think about legendary beef, man, you think Biggie Tupac, you think Fifty Jock, you know, y'all said LL Cannabis, right? You think Boogie Down Productions and Juice Group, right? Yep. This is like if Russell Wilson dropped a diss track on Future. This, shit is not, this, this ain't it, man. This ain't it right here. Nick, fall back, bro. Just fall back. Fat Bastard. Fat Bastard in the building. Yo, Dwayne Wade and, and, and um, his, uh, his daughter... Yo, I don't agree. I'm not a fan of it. I think it's too, um, he's too young. First of all, I have a son that's eight and, um, I'm teaching him the right way, man. Not, uh, I'm not, I just, I'm a lost the words for that, man. But, um, R. Kelly, R. Kelly and, um, what's his name? Nick Cannon? Nick Cannon and, uh, <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Eminem. Eminem. I think, you know what? I think Eminem, to be honest, I really think Eminem should come back at him because he ain't had nothing in a while. So I think he should just come back at him just to, you know, bring his music career back out. So I think that should, you know, just light him up right quick and put him back on the scene. So I think he should come back at him. Mm. Detroit what? Detroit what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yo, 
So, uh, my opinion, uh, shout out to D Wade and his family. There's no disrespect from the podcast. We just stay in our opinions. If I had a son, that wouldn't happen. Um, it just wouldn't happen. But uh, Eminem and Nick Cannon, that shit sound hilarious. I want Eminem to come back. And Eminem should do something crazy. He should pull out the my old my name is beat and destroy Nick Cannon over that on some funny shit. That would be dope. Um that gigolo beat. Yeah, gigolo joint. Kill him. And he probably could get like a phone call from R. Kelly and put R. Kelly in the beginning. Something crazy. Yeah. No, That'll be yeah, weird. It'll be twisted. It'll be twisted. But um Shout out to Lee Shirts on Nails too. <laughs> Yo, that was foul. Them joints was foul. <sighs> from just for the hell of a podcast, we judge no one. But at the end of the day, if you're my child, you won't be doing that. Bless your heart. No, Lee. Shout out to Lee Press on it. That girl's gonna step it up, man. 